Shrinks in the house once again. Well, I gotta say, man, I'm just enjoying the pecan pie streamer premium so much. It's just such a great product. I'm so glad that one of my subs recommended me reaching out to Leo. And Leo, once again, good work. I'm grateful for you for sending me a product such as this. But guess what, guys? I wasn't going to just do a streamer on its own. I I'm here to bring full systems at certain budgets to people, okay? Because there's no use recommending one product because that that's such a small part of the chain. What I want to do is bring what I feel is a great value at a certain price point to people that I suggest is is top-notch value. I'm about I'm about value to be honest. I am a used market guy, but I mean there are brands out there such as Orchard Audio that that you know, you buy direct from him, save yourself a ton of money right off the get-go. I mean, so the Star Crimson Orchard Audio um, Ultra 2.0, okay? I've been putting it through its paces with, with the streamer as the preamp and the source, obviously, the DAC, the streamer, and the preamp, okay? So it works together just beautifully. You just buy a couple XL, XLR cables, connect the two, and you tap into your uh, Volumio app, you can deal with the volume there. And it's got a really, really good slider because I've dealt with a lot of digital volume controls and I've always obviously preferred the analog, but audio has come a long way, okay? So obviously there's no physical remote that comes with the streamer. So, you know, all you do is crank your volume to max on the knob and just access the slider, which instead of having to hold your button down on that and slide it up and down, which is a real pain in the ass and it's very inaccurate. This one is allows you just to tap on the icons, right? That look like a speaker. You know the icons, guys. You just tap on it one at a time. It goes up five dB at a shot. Simple as pie. Okay, so this Star Crimson Ultra 2.0, I'm a Class D fan. I've had Class D as long as it went way back to New Force. You know, New Force, I had their flagship integrated, the i 18 I had New Prime. You know, I had Red Dragon. I've had Wired for Sound. And the latest, which is one of my stables here, is the Belcanto E1X. It's a different technology. This is GANFET, guys, okay? Now, I'm not going to get into the scientific terms of it because that's not what... I just don't know enough to share that with you. But it's, you know, it's gallium nitrate um, technology, and there's other companies doing it, like AJD, AGD with their tiny little monoblocks with the... Uh, I'm just going to say it, the cheesy tubes. I mean, it's either a tube amp or it isn't. Don't try to be what you're not. That's just me, my opinion. Yeah, the modulars are inside of it and, and you can do upgrades that way, but uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not into those gimmicks. I'm sure it sounds amazing and stuff because I'm getting a good taste of the technology here in my room. So anyways, that's a lot of money for those as well. Um, this one, you're looking at 2,700 US dollars, right? And the streamer at 1250, so four grand US. And I'll leave a budget for up to five grand for speakers. So you're looking at under 10 grand, this digital setup, okay? Um, all I can say about the amp is, uh, you know, it's very well built. It's not super lightweight like most people think Class D is going to be. I mean, this thing's stuffed with parts. Like it, it just is. You take the lid off and there's, which I didn't do, but I've seen pictures, man. There's... There's no real room, and it's a pretty big chassis. I think it's around 15 or 16 deep, about almost 18 wide, so it's it's pretty big. But, you know, this thing can drive... It's 250 watts per channel, okay, at 8 ohms, and I'll tell you right now, it's all of that. And I've had specs of amps coming in here, you know, stating those facts, and I couldn't even... There was no base extension to the chair where I'm sitting six feet away. To me, I'm sorry, man. That just doesn't, it doesn't work for me, guys. I, I don't listen to the specs. I wait till I get these items in the room, regardless of what other reviewers have said 
or the white papers say. I've learned that and it's taken a long time to do so. So, I mean, this amplifier, I've experienced a lot of class D and this, this presentation is very different, but it's in a good way. I'll tell you that it can drive pretty much any load, guys. It doubles to 500 watts per channel in four. And it's what the thing that, like, there's other reviews on this amp, guys, already. You can go there where they get more into the technical de uh, details, like Absolute Sound has one. And I'm just not going to go there. I'm going to go by the way, what I heard and what how it made me feel. So... The biggest thing that stands out to me that I've never quite experienced in a Class D amplifier is the speed. I've never heard music conveyed in such a way where everything, it just, it comes in real time. Like there's no, there's no delay in anything. Like, I mean, the bass notes are lightning quick. Like that might not be for everybody, but man, it's a very accurate amplifier as to what is being thrown at it as when it comes to music right i mean it's so quick and one of the most noticeable the mid-range is beautiful there's never any it's a very um it, it's got liveliness which i love in my sound i don't want an overly warm or flat sound or dull sound overly smooth i don't want that but i'll tell you one thing right now there's no jagged edges in the sound with this streamer as the preamp I don't know how it sounds with any other preamps because I don't have them here. This is a digital setup. It's kind of like this is a future system, I'm calling it. Something, you know, because this this DA, these DACs are upgradable. He can send you the new modules that he designs as they come out. And you just use a screwdriver and put them in. It's a, basic, it's a basically a future-proof system. Okay, so the amplifier's mid-range is beautiful everything is separated in space because it is so quiet like to have a 500 watt amplifier and be able and i've had many guys many class a b all the different topologies and i've never been able to other than the bel canto to crank the volume to max and put my ear to the driver and an efficient speaker and hear absolutely zero well i'll tell you one thing that matters because this is going to be in the sound. If there's noise of any kind, it's there. This is dead quiet. And that's the kind of vibe you get. Like you're sitting there and you're listening to the music and everything is, is in space. Like you, it's like you can realize the space that the recordings were done in. Um, I learned that statement from someone else, but I, I can understand what it means with this amplifier. It's a very accurate amplifier as to what goes in. But it's not hyper analytical or hyper detailed where it causes any kind of tired ears. I mean, you can sit and listen to it for, for hours, right? Um, I just think for under 10 grand leaving, and that's leaving a $5,000 budget for speakers. Where on the market can you buy that kind of power, that kind of refinement at that price for this combo? I'm going to say that this is one of the best streamers I've ever heard at any price. Okay, and I, you know, you know me, my favorite is the Zen MK3 or the Pulse. Those are 48 to 5 grand and they don't have a DAC, but whatever DAC I connected to them, they were just phenomenal. I'm a believer that any well-designed and well-engineered equipment is going to work well together. I re I just that's that's the experience I've got. And some may not agree, but I mean, it's never sounded bad, you know. But when you get something that's just not, it's just not well-designed or engineered. Of course, you're going to notice, like, oh man, I made a big mistake here. But guys, the Star Crimson Ultra 2.0. It's just a superb amplifier for the money. 2,700 US, approaching 4,000. It can drive anything. It can drive your Magna Pans. It can do it. You know, I'm not going to say I don't use the word best because it's not, but I just, for me, it's a product that I can recommend. I've sat and enjoyed this combination here for a few days, for many hours, and that's all I need to, to really be able to come up with a decision as to whether I feel it's great value. Um, I'm grateful to Leo, and I wanna support the fellow. I mean, I have a one, I have a one 
a one employee business myself. I've had it for 20 years. I know what it's like to be passionate about what we do. And uh, I'm here to try to help people and support, you know, these boutique builders that are out there that know what they're doing when it comes to making music machines, right? So um, I recommend the amp. I mean, he has many amps in his lineup, okay? So, but the thing that impresses me the most out of the two, to be honest, is the streamer. Um, like I say, someone didn't like the word. I called myself an expert. Well, what other word do you use when you've seen, like, I could probably name a hundred, if not more, if I really sat down and put pen to paper about the streamers, operating systems, different softwares, different apps that I have used in my room over the last two decades. How much time does it take to give yourself that title? Well, I'm a professional at it. And that that's, you know, if that, if that ruffles feathers or whatever, so be it, man. Time, you can give yourself that title regardless of who you are, right? Like I, I've made the recommendation four times now to, to seek out Inuus because to me, it's the most musical streamer on the market compared to the other ones that I've tried. So, I mean, I, I'm just gonna say, I don't know of a streamer on the market right now and nor have I tried them all, but even comparing to the big hitters that don't even offer ones at this price point, especially with a built-in DAC. This has exceeded any of the ones, including Inuus, that have the built-in DACs at this price point easily. I can sit and listen to it all day. Like it just, it, it just never ceases to impress me. Like when I put certain tracks on, it's like, holy shit, listen to that effortless bass and wait to the music, right? So anyways, I'm a big fan of this company. I, I can do nothing but recommend it. Um, do I own any of it as of yet? I don't, but time will tell, right? I mean, time will tell because there is a component that I could use in here to fully complete the dual reference systems. So guys, when I do videos, whoever you are, whether you're a negative individual or you're positive, just try to take what I say, obviously with a grain of salt, but just Try to take something away from the actual topic itself. Don't look around and try to say, oh, his room looks like shit or any of that stuff. Just try to be kind. It'll get you a lot further in life, right? No one can comment on the room whatsoever. Like, they just don't know what it's like, right? I sit six feet away, you know, I'm about here. And you can clearly see that there's really no obstructions of any kind, Um Ah, that's a, that was a poor film. Whatever, just gonna keep keep doing what I do, man. I don't need to have better production. I don't need when the meat and potatoes is getting out there. What I want to address is getting out there. You know, I'm simply here to save people a lot of pain, money, because I always say it, I've already done the suffering for you over the years. You don't need to do it. Just take my direction, man. If, just ask questions. I'll answer them for you to the best of my ability. I'm just here to help, okay? So there you go. That's the Star Crimson, you know, the combo with the Pecan Pie uh, Streamer Premium and the, um, they're long names, Orchard Audio Star Crimson Ultra 2.0 Power Amplifier. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, baby.